You sure you kid's gonna be okay on your own? We'll be fine. I mean, probably. Take care, boss. Uh, same to you. Be careful out there. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Here we come! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look unusually serious, Inspector Hasegawa. Oh, Commissioner Kaburagi. My apologies. I've been short on sleep. I've not been on an undercover case in quite some time. <laughs> I wholly understand. Have you liaised with the Phantom Thieves? Affirmative. I've gained their cooperation. However, proceedings are touch and go. Some of them are also very quick on the uptake. Nevertheless, I guarantee you that I will win them over. Understood. As expected from someone so dependable. Well, I still owe you for taking me under your wing. I'm happy to do whatever you require. Keep at it until you get to the bottom of this case. But do not get too attached to them. At this point, their arrest is an inevitability. Attached? I haven't been attached to anything in a long time. So you say. And how's the girl? Go home. At least every so often. Understood? Ma'am. No way she's buying anything about that world. I've got to wring a lead out of them. Don't take it personally, Phantom Thieves. All I want is for this case to be solved. And I'll use you however I have to. Yo, where are we now? Looks like we're coming up on Tochigi Prefecture. We've come a pretty long way. Tochigi? Tochigi is famous for the Niko Toshoku Shrine, dedicated to Tokugawa Ieyasu. I heard the monkey sculptures there are adorable. I wonder if we'll get to see them. Ooh, I want strawberries! <gasps> Let's go strawberry picking! Apparently, Gyoza's pretty big there, too. Utsunomi is supposed to be the place for it. You say Gyoza? Oh, hell yeah! We're gonna get some, right? Of all the things to get excited about... <laughs> it's understandable. We could all use some time to unwind every now and then. And besides, we've already discussed it. We could just go straight to Hokkaido, but we decided it would be more worthwhile to check out a variety of places rather than just one. And there might be jails in other cities besides Shibuya and Sapporo. Not only that, but the supposed monarch of Sapporo won't even be in town till the 8th. We have the time. There's no reason we shouldn't make use of it. Uh, I guess you have a point. Wait. Say we find a jail before then. Does that mean we're sort of hunting for monarchs along the way? Oh, we're taking the Phantom Thieves to a whole new level. This is starting to feel real badass. Well, if there is a jail, I'm sure Sophia will let us know. Leave that to me. I should be able to handle it. I think. You'd think the AI would be a little more sure of herself. Yeah, seriously, who or what are you? I'm humanity's companion. There she goes singing again. <laughs> Don't think too hard about it. I'm sure we'll learn more if she sticks around. Isn't that right, Sophia? That's right, Aun. Oh, that reminds me, Mako-chan. You've been driving this whole time. Are you doing okay? I have my license too, so I could always drive if you want. Well, you just got yours, Haru, so I'll try to handle as much of the driving as I can. Does anyone else have their license? I don't. Apologies, I do not. Me neither. I want to get mine soon, though. Do you have one? Well, I guess we did just reach driving age. Sorry, Mako-chan. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? I won't. Although we might be taking more breaks. I wouldn't want to put any of us at risk. That's fine by me. We want our Makoto to stay nice and well-rested. So you're going to keep driving, Makoto? I think so, for the time being. That sounds difficult. Is there anything I can do to help? 
Ah, since you've asked, do you think you could find a place to stop and rest? I could probably use a break. We can have lunch there, too. Okay, I'd be happy to. There's a riverbank up ahead that should be perfect. Lunch by a river, huh? Oh, man, this is feeling like a real road trip. Yo, this spot is perfect. Is, is this even real? I've only ever seen this kind of place online. Seriously. Oh, and this is the perfect weather for cooking outdoors, too. Shall we get started, then? Boss gave us some ingredients, didn't he? <laughs> oh, this is going to be so nice. Cooking lunch with everyone. All right. We'll leave the main course to you. has been prepared. We're ready whenever. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I could eat this forever. Indeed. And to be surrounded by nature in all its splendor makes it taste that much better. Is there more? <laughs> Sorry, Nari. The great phantom thief Futaba just swiped the very last plate. Last? Fate is cruel. Oh, come on. Don't act so depressed. It's not like it's the end of the world. You will. Please do. Ah, oh, that was killer. I can't even move. I'm full, too. How about I pour us some tea and we can all just relax? I'm down. Ooh, why don't we roast marshmallows later on, too? Jeez, you're seriously still thinking about food? What of it? There's always room for sweets. All right, we'll finish our break with some tea and sweets, then get going. for a while. Where are we now? We'll be entering Sendai soon. We made a lot of stops, but no sign of any jails, huh? Well, I'm definitely feeling a little more relaxed now. I wouldn't want those things popping up everywhere. Also, it's getting kind of dark. How about we call it a day? Yes, we should decide where we want to stay for tonight. Shouldn't we eat first? Uh, what's good in Sendai? As far as local delicacies go, there's always beef tongue. There's plenty of specialty shops around. Nonsense. Delicious as that sounds, we must go to Mount Aoba Park and see the remains of Sendai Castle. They house a statue of the late Lord Date Masamune. I'd very much like to see the one-eyed dragon for myself. Uh, I want to take a bath first. I'm not sleeping in the camp or all sweaty and sticky. Jeez, we're all over the place on this one. Um... Well, what should we do? This is where I come in. Searching. Overnight parking lots, beef tongue, Date Masamune, and nearby bathhouses. Leave it to me. I'll find the most efficient route to everything you've suggested. Wow, you can do all that, Sophia? It's nothing special. I'm just doing a wide search and lining up our destinations. We should first head to the parking lot at Mount Alba Park. Then we can walk to the statue of Masamune. Huh? Huh? Hmm? What's up? The smell. There might be a jail here. Whoa, for real? You can really tell just off that, huh? Are you sure, Sophia? I think so. I can't pinpoint it yet. And that may be because of the distance. 
But this feels the same as Shibuya. All right, then. We're heading to Sendai. We shouldn't be too much longer. Well, Sophia, can you smell the jail? Yes, I'm sure of it. There's a jail somewhere in the city. So there really are more jails besides the one in Shibuya? If there's a jail, then something rotten's going on around town. You're right. We'll need to look into that first. And how are we supposed to do that? Sendai's a pretty big city, after all. We could check some more of the popular sightseeing spots. We might hear something if there's people around. Great thinking. And what's more, we're right here in Mount Aoba Park, home to the statue of Lord Masamune. Dude, you can check out the statue tomorrow! I'm starving! Excuse me? There's no guarantee the statue will still be here come sunrise. A trip is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Once you've set a plan, you must act on it without delay. Ah, <sighs> there he goes. I'll never understand that logic of his. By the way, Mako-chan, did you find out if it's okay for us to sleep in the car tonight? Yes, I actually just got confirmation. At least we won't have to worry about finding a place to sleep. And it looks like there are lots of sightseers here, so... We should have plenty of chances to ask around. Should we check out the statue? It's only a short walk from here, right? It's close. Very close. Then let us depart. Lord Masamune awaits. One-eyed dragon in all his glory. Indeed. I should have expected as much from such an icon. We must come back during the day and... Hmm? What the hell? What's all this about? Prince of Nightmares, Volume 1. 20th reissue celebration? Reissue celebration? So they're... Promoting a book? I doubt they got permission to do this. Maybe it's some kind of prank. What a reprehensible miscreant. Putting up such tasteless flyers for their own game. Let's take them down. <sighs> That's better. Well, you happy, Yusuke? Yes. Now that I've seen the great Masamune, my apologies for taking so much of everyone's time. Let's move on. are enough to impress a sophisticated palate like mine. Oh, sorry. It might be hard to get in if we bring a cat along. What? Oh, oops. to know what his regular diet is like if this is enough to make him cry. Either way, food's delicious. Hey, let me have some too. I swear, you are the noisiest cat on the planet. Ask him to split some with you. You heard the dude? Too bad. Just gotta make do with the smell. Don't be such a pig! I'm hungry too, you know. Not so loud, you idiot! Is that a cat I hear? 
Things I could have sworn I heard a cat. Oh, uh, nope, not a real cat, at least. Uh, but we were just practicing our cat sounds. <laughs> right, Ryuji? Uh, meow? Oh, come on, you're not fooling anyone. Sounds to me like he's in the bag of the gentleman with the glasses. Oh, that's sweet. Are you going to share? You and your cat should partake in the finest beef tongue this restaurant has to offer. Wait, Jay, not so loud! Oops, sorry, sorry. You're right. If you get thrown out, then no more beef tongue. By the way, is this your first time having Sendai beef tongue? I should tell you, the oxtail soup's to die for. Did you know oxtail soup is packed with collagen? A lot of people seem to think it's good for your skin. They say it's not as effective when ingested, but there's a fair number of reports that suggest otherwise. Human cognition can be quite misleading. You may think you feel a change when none has occurred. This is the placebo effect and... No, dude. She's just going on and on. Does she even notice us talking right now? This overwhelming onslaught of pointless info. We got ourselves a nerd, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry about, you know, the bag thing. What? Oh, you mean the cat? Don't worry, I won't tell the staff or anything. By the way, are you all students? Hmm, I could see a couple of you being in college, but not you. You've still got an air of innocence about you, in which case, you'll be taking your entrance exam soon, right? Have you decided where you're going to apply yet? Oh, forgive me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Kuani Jinose. I work as a researcher over at Toho University. Hey, you guys should come check out the campus. It's way up in the mountains, but it's a lot of fun. Lots of bears this season, too. The bears? Oh, uh, you know, we kind of got something going on already, so we don't exactly got the time. I see, I see. Yes, well, it's important that you do what you want while you're still young. Allow me to impart a little treat till next we meet. Uh, sure? Well then, I've had my fill of beef tongue, so it's probably best if I get going. Farewell, young ones! So, uh, she was... Weirdly energetic, huh? Well, thankfully, we avoided getting in trouble. We should be grateful she didn't tell on us. Sorry, that was my fault. Nah, uh, I got carried away too. Sorry, Mona-chan. We'll buy you some sasa kamaboko later. You mean the fish cake on the skewers with that nice layer of jar on top? Oh, I can't wait! Nice! Oh my gosh! Oh, his latest work was just perfect. I was a born like two nights in a row, if you can believe that. Speaking of which, I read in a magazine interview that he was going to be at the station today. There's no way I'm missing that. All right, let's finish eating, and quietly this time. Yes, ma'am. How you can eat five bowls of rice is beyond me. Is your stomach a black hole or something? Look, if they're offering free refills, then you can bet I'm ordering them. Indeed. You can eat the first bowl and focus exclusively on the glistening of the meat. Then the aroma on the next, and so on. Pretty sure that's just you. Yeah. Well, I will say the food here certainly is delicious. Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Sophia. It was, as they say, a piece of cake. Guess we should leave where we eat up to Sophia now, huh? Hmm? What's going on over there? Natsume-san! Your lady says she was just amazing as always! Natsume-san! Over here! Can you please sign my copy? <laughs> Thank you for all your support. Whoa, hold on now. Only one autograph per person, please. 
Oh, my apologies, but could the men please go to the back of the line? Ladies first, you see. Who the hell's that? He looks pretty popular. I, I heard that woman say latest book. Does that mean he's a writer? Oh, oh, oh. Hello there. Are you looking for an autograph as well? Or perhaps a handshake? Huh? Um... Oh, how terribly rude of me to keep such lovely fans waiting. Please, accept this as a token of my apology, yes? Don't worry, I've already signed it. Um, okay? Listen, uh, we were just passing by. Ah, uh, is that so? It seems I got a little ahead of myself. Prince of Nightmares by Ango Natsume. Yours truly, Ango Natsume. It's a pleasure. Prince of Nightmares. That's the name from those flyers on the Masamune statue. Why, flyers on Masamune statue? Ah, oh, I think I know what happened. That's most likely the work of some of my more zealous fans. I appreciate them promoting my work, but it appears they went overboard somewhat. Honestly, they can be a real handful sometimes. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. In exchange, allow me to offer you a kiss. Yo, back off, dude. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? And who are you supposed to be? I believe I was addressing these lovely young ladies here. I thank you not to interrupt. Mm, sorry, but they're with us. Got a problem, you can always talk to me. <laughs> Do you seriously think you can get away with speaking to me like that? <laughs> My, this one's got some backbone, doesn't he? Mr. Natsume, we need to get moving soon. <laughs> well then, it seems I must be going. I've a magazine interview to get to. To all those who have read my book, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Natsume! I love you! Oh, he's just so dreamy. I'll have to buy ten more copies tomorrow to show him just how much I care. Who was that man? I don't know if he was some local big shot or whatever, but he sure was pissing me off. He was a strange one for sure. But the people around him seemed really happy. Why was that? Probably because they're a bunch of weirdos. I must agree. He wasn't at all deserving of such praise, even in the form of flattery. Are you all right, Haru? Mm-hmm. I was just a little surprised, is all. How did jerk like him get so popular? Ugh, doesn't make any sense. Hmm. There might be something else going on here. He could even be changing people's hearts. You mean... He's the monarch of the Sendai Jail? It's just one possibility. No, I, I think you might be onto something. If he's the monarch, then everything else totally makes sense. Huh. I got my laptop back at the RV. Should be able to dig something up from there. Hmm. Let's go over what we know so far. Sophia, you can confirm there's a jail here, correct? The smell got a lot stronger once we entered the city. So yes, I'm sure of it. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Natsume? I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Ango Natsume, 
grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume, currently a successful light novel author. Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. This thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. A million? That's kinda nuts, right? Yeah, for someone's debut to hit numbers like that is nothing short of a miracle. I checked social media, and, well, this whole thing is kind of bizarre. Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives, just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Right. The worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. These are likely the same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. They clearly lack self-restraint. The fans at the station seemed really passionate, too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. I'm checking some of the online forums. It looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? That's true. We haven't determined his abilities as a writer yet. If he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him. And he earned all that praise, right? But there's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? That's what we're gonna find out. Tomorrow, we'll go into town and see what intel we can dig up. If he's the monarch, then there's a good chance we'll run into some victims who've had their hearts changed, just like in Shibuya. Oh yeah, we should probably let Inspector Gramps know too, huh? Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues too. Okay, well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. We've got a busy day tomorrow. So... Why the hell are we sleeping up top? Might as well be sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. Back when there were more students at the Atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to lack of space. Man, you always keep cool in the weirdest possible way. You know that? Come on, guys, are we really just gonna call it a night? Shouldn't we, like, all be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? Ain't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this? You're missing the point, Danny. Forget it, Ryuji. We're up early tomorrow anyway, so you'd better get some rest. Man, it's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Very true. That fur certainly won't help things either. Oh, what do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Guys, shut up. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. Wrong. Not like that. Like this. This. That smug bastard's being promoted all over the place! Like I'm going insane! That's quite a crowd for a book signing. Oh, there's so many people. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is he gonna give out his keyword for Emma and change everyone's hearts like Alice did? We should keep an eye on him for now. 
Um, Natsume-san, I just wanted to say thank you for putting out such wonderful work all the time. I was so touched by your book. I ended up buying 50 copies. Yeah, well, I bought a hundred. Some to read, some to collect, some to give out, some to... My goodness! Thank you. I'm flattered. Reading your book somehow gives me hope. Courage to keep going. I won't rest until each and every one of my friends knows about your book. Well, I have said that I want my book to reach as many people as possible. I can't help but feel guilty, though. Be sure you don't overdo it. No, it's okay. I'm helping you because I want to. I heard the reason he started writing novels was for this poor girl who's bedridden in the hospital. Supposedly, he wanted her to keep fighting so she could one day see him finish his novel. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. He's just so compassionate. It's like he's a saint. I know, that story alone's enough to make me cry. I guess even real life is like a novel sometimes. We have to tell the whole world about Ango Natsume's good deeds. I'd expected as much, but he's really popular. Do you think that bit about the girl in the hospital is for real? Dude didn't seem like the type, if you ask me. I don't think Natsume said anything resembling a clue word. Could it be because he really isn't a monarch? Or perhaps he's just being careful. If he is the monarch, maybe everyone here's already had their hearts changed. Meaning he wouldn't need to give out his keyword. Hey, Inari, what's that you've been reading? Ango Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. Inari? You actually bought that thing? Yes, I suppose that's fine. I was just curious as to whether or not the book was truly deserving of the fervent praise it's received. Well, how is it? Is it good? Mm. How should I put it? For any creative work, one should be able to feel some sense of its creator's passion. No matter how crude or unrefined the work may be, there should always be some sort of spark present to those engaging with it. I'm not terribly well versed in the literary arts, but... I feel nothing when reading this book. The sentences are formed well enough, but what's here is shockingly hollow. It's as if these words have been taken from someone else and given the most bare minimum coat of paint possible. Let me see. Oh, wow. This line here is lifted from an anime from two years ago. The words got changed a bit, but that's definitely it. Sneaky. I think I've seen this one before, too. And this one. Sheesh. This one too. Wait, is this whole book just a bunch of stuff he ripped off and strung together? If the original writers, or worse, their fans, ever saw this, there'd be a freaking riot online. I can't possibly fathom how such a fraudulent piece of work garnered this much praise. That is, unless the fans had their desires stolen. With all that we know now, it's safe to say there's definitely something going on here. If only we knew the keyword, we can investigate the jail for ourselves. Think we should ask some of his fans? They've all had their desires taken, right? If this is anything like the situation in Shibuya, I doubt they'll tell us anything. Guess we're kind of stuck then. Have we heard anything from Gramps yet? He said he'd be here by tonight. Maybe he learned something. All right then. I guess we should go ahead and wait for Inspector Hasegawa then. Hold on. Why do you think Natsume wrote this novel? In all honesty, I'm not sure myself. No matter how much praise your work receives, if it was built on the backs of others, then you cannot truly call that praise your own. Those compliments will surely ring empty. Anyone in the arts should know this. That is why I don't understand. What was he thinking when he wrote this novel? What are you two doing? Let's get going. My apologies. It wasn't my intention to hold you up. Let's be off.
Pretty nice ride you've got here. And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How'd you know there was a jail here? Well, about that... I smelled it. Hmm... You smelled it? Anyways... Have you learned anything new? Ah, yes. Ango Natsume, right? Yeah... He's suspicious, all right. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around, and here's what I found. Apparently, everyone in Atsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Any of this sound familiar? It's just like what happened with Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi, but I'm almost certain Natsume is using the same power. In that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Can't we just nab the shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that? And I would have to arrest you for assault. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. Ah, right. Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. Ah, oh, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. Beauty what? My name is Beauty Thief. I see. She's really calling herself that? Getting back on track. We gotta think of a way to get that keyword. That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. For what? Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares passing over a million in sales. And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Which means... We're crashing a party? Hey, that sounds fun as hell! Don't you think? Nobody's gonna care what you're wearing. Just pretend you work in the industry or something. So, what do you think? Glad we struck a deal? You did pretty good, Gramps. Yeah, nice one, Gramps. I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light, Gramps. Yeah, you really came through, Gramps. I knew we could count on you, Gramps, son. Come on, guys. At least call me by my name. Don't feel bad, Gramps. Thank you all very much for coming today. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Congratulations, Mr. Natsume. Truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you've done, considering the amount of competition there is these days. But I know we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but uh, I never would have expected you to perform this well. <laughs> the praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. Natsume. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. My talent, you say? <laughs> well now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. The words on the page matter little. If there's something worth talking about, the people will always flock to it. From there, all one needs to do is craft a little story into it. And voila! For example, take that origin story about how I started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital. Pardon my asking, but is that story really true, Mr. Natsume? <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Truth, fiction, does anyone really care? You might recall Ichiryu Saimadorame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. His signature piece. What was the name of it? Oh, do you mean the Sayuri? Ah, yes. That's it. The Sayuri. That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. <sighs> Dick! The trash? How rude! He has no idea what was put into that painting. Who does he think he is? 
Yusuke, I know how you feel, but... I'm all right. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? I promise I'll get the keyword from him. But... There's a good chance he remembers your faces from the other day. However, I was toward the back of the crowd. So there's a good chance he won't recognize me. Right. Yusuke might be our best bet here. Good luck! Thank you. I'll be off then. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, who are you? Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Hey! Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. <sighs> you mean it. My thanks, Natsume-san. You're too kind. To receive an autograph from the great Ongo Natsume himself? This honor is truly more than I deserve. Nonsense! Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. I see. That's a wonderful way to look at it. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma, Natsume-san? Of course! With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. The keyword is Prince of Nightmares. Thank you very much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash. As though it were some cheap attempt. Ah, so you heard that, did you? Is that what I said? Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me? In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayori was painted by my mother. <laughs> this may be unprofessional of me, but professionalism be damned. My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. That painting was crafted with a love that simply cannot be found anywhere else. Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you cobbled together from authors far more talented than you. <laughs> hey, you can't! I merely spoke the truth. Now, if you'll excuse me. We've got what we came for. Let's head outside, yes? Drivel? That little bastard. What the hell does he know? Yeah, it, it, it's all right, Mr. Natsume. He's just, uh, looking to blame you for something because he's jealous of your genius. Don't let him get to you. Shut up! Uh. <laughs> no matter. He'll come around just like the rest. My apologies. I couldn't hold myself back. I suppose I still have much to learn. Dude, don't sweat it. Everything worked out. We got the keyword, so we're all good. Yeah, you did great. I was actually pretty impressed with how you stood up to him. Well, I can't say my assessment of his book was entirely correct. Whatever someone feels from a work of art, no matter what that work may be, ultimately comes down to the individual. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, we all loved seeing you stick it to that creepy Nari. In any case, we've got the keyword now. All that's left is to find our entry point. Sendai Station would be a good place to look. Hmm? How come? The smell isn't as strong there. The security's probably more lax. The station should be a safe point of entry, just like in Shibuya. So I guess we're doing it then. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Tomorrow, that jail's getting a visit from the Phantom Thieves. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask you. 
Yusuke might have been acting calm just now. But he seemed rather sad. Why was that? Oh, I see. So when someone disrespects something important to you, it makes you more sad than angry. At the very least, Yusuke seemed to feel that way. I think I'm starting to understand him a little better now. Thank you for explaining that to me. I've been waiting for you. The desires in this place have been stolen as well. The voices of countless hearts are stirring about. At the same time, I can feel the threat of the calamity is only growing stronger. I have called you here to deliver important news. The bonds you have forged will now impart an even greater power to your personas. This new power, it seems it was born from a connection you've made during your travels. This will become the sustenance that will further nurture your potential. Cherish it dearly. <laughs> I admit I'm somewhat jealous. There is no doubt that they will give you the strength needed to cut through fate. Be on your side. <laughs> so tired. Snap out of it, Ryuji. We're about to head in. I know, I know. I was so excited last night I couldn't sleep. What, you think it's Christmas morning or something? Any idea how big this place is? Can you tell, Sophia? Based on the smell, I'd say it covers nearly all of Sendai. Well, it's quite big. Considering what's happening throughout the city, the scale makes sense. But that's all coming to an end. Right. We're heading into the Sendai Jail. Hey. Okay, we can do this. So that's it. Hmm. Once again, the domain reflects who's within. to the jail. I'd say that settles it. Ango Natsume is our monarch. So him being all popular is a total lie. Doesn't he feel any remorse for obtaining his success this way? His fans are only his fans because he forced them to be. That's just how smug assholes like him think. You can't just let it keep happening. There's a large tower in the distance. Is that Natsume's castle? Probably. I smell treasure. I mean, desires. Mount Alba's over that way. The main road here should lead us right to it. Let's go. We'll steal those desires and expose Natsume for the fraud he is. All right. Is everyone ready?
some old guy in a suit to me. I am the guardian of this suit. If you wish to pass, you have to defeat me in combat. But be warned, I will not fall soon. In the name of the fearsome form, I will slay you where you stand. Come, chosen heroes. different place than we were before. Looks like we're in front of that castle we saw earlier. D does that mean we were brought here by some kind of magic? My guess is it was that fearsome four guys doing. You heard that. I pray you lose your way, crap, right? Right? We've seen it a million times. Um... I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble keeping up here. Chosen heroes and demons and shit? That's classic video games and manga business. I believe this is the world from Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. You mean we're in a novel? You've read it, haven't you, Vox? What's it about? A man living a completely normal life in our world is reborn as a demon overlord in another. Making the most of his villainous new role, he then attempts to repel the heroes who come to slay him. To that end, he deploys a number of traps about his castle, along with a group known as the Fearsome Four. And that's why he called us heroes earlier? <sighs> so are the heroes the real bad guys of the story then? Yes, that's correct. Am I to assume you've read it too? Nah, I just skimmed it. But I've seen enough of that kind of thing to guess where it was going. 
So it's our job to challenge the Demon King, huh? That's true. Then I guess this all works out pretty nicely. And if this place is from Natsume's book, then it's safe to say he's somewhere in the castle. Which means everyone's desires are in there too. Right. Let's see if we can find a way inside. First. Hold up. We got searchlights ahead. Security here is pretty tight. It appears the gate is closed as well. We won't be getting in this way. In that case, let us play true to Phantom Thief form and sneak in through the back. find another way in. Hold on. I believe I read something about this gate in his book. Here. Supposedly, it's the Gate of Trials, designed to deny the hero's entry. It's a test to see whether the heroes are worthy to face the Overlord. To open it, they must overcome three trials and obtain proof of victory. Dude, this is a video game. Um, this Overlord wants to keep the heroes out, right? Why doesn't he just build a gate that doesn't open? That's just how it goes. The story couldn't progress if the heroes didn't have a chance. So where exactly are we supposed to find this proof? It's being held in three different towers placed outside the castle. It says here that the towers are guarded by the Fearsome Four themselves. Uh, they're called the Fearsome Four, but there's only three trials? This guy's writing's all over the place. One of the towers apparently stands near something called the Great River. I'm guessing that's just like a big river or something. Well, the heroes say river runs right through Sendai in the real world, and that's pretty big. Oh, that's gotta be it. Okay, let's see if we can find that river. should be around here somewhere. Hey, doesn't that tower look a lot like the prison keeps we saw in Shibuya? Hey, it does. It looks like a birdcage on top. If it's the same, then maybe that's where we'll find our proof. So when they say proof, do you think they're actually talking about cores? Looks like the entrance is right over there. Come on, let's check it out. Dang, these jails are humongous. Be sure to check your map every now and then.
This is the entrance. Ooh, there's something written here. One must offer sun and rain. What do you think that means? Uh, you probably gotta bring in some specific items or something. Typical fetch quest. Here's a line from the novel. Mine hallowed orbs sleep in a shrine of sun and a land of rain. Right. Those orbs are probably what we're looking for. The sign should have just said so to begin with. Oh, don't be like that, Sophie. This is just... one of those things. Let's not forget this is still Natsume's world, however. This is likely a trap to deter the heroes. Well, I don't see any other way in, so... I guess we should go look for these orbs. Here, but we obviously can't cross it like this. Nothing we can do now. Let's try a different path. Shadow sighted. What should we do? Weakness! What the? Seems I've gained new power. Yay! We did it! Okay, let's keep it moving. I'm picking up something close cool by. Ooh, found a shadow. Don't get caught off guard. Hey, should we open up that treasure chest? I shall expose you. Someone looks happy. Was that not a challenge? Here's hoping the next one's just as easy. Not seeing any shadows at the moment. Just add this. Just as the novel said, the orb is a symbol of the sun. Remove it, and the light fades. Once that happens, warriors will appear to prevent its theft. Then that means... Yes, this seems far from the course. Why didn't you tell us this earlier? I'm 
One. Next time, tell us about the gaggle of enemies before we get jumped, Nari. My apologies. You are friends. Anyways, we've got the sun we need. All that's left is to find the rain. It said something about... ...out of land of rain, right? Let's keep looking. brought us here? <laughs> that is my doom. I am tasked with bestowing our master's trials upon the chosen hero. In addition, I've also been entrusted with protecting this sacred land. If the orb of rain is what you see, then you'll have to defeat me. Uh, we're supposed to be the Phantom Thieves, remember? Persona! Good this time. So you've come this far. Well done, chosen heroes. But I was but the weakest of the fearsome foe. Give me a break. It's the next guy's job to tell us that. My fellow fearsome foe will surely make you suffer. No! about well whatever it was we could keep going now let's find that orb oh uh right wait a moment
I see. It's, it just started pouring all of a sudden. Maybe this is the place we're looking for. It certainly matches the Land of Rain moniker. No doubt the orb is somewhere nearby. Suspicious. That's our target? It could be a trap. But we don't have any other choice. Don't let your guard down. of shadow we sometimes see in the metaverse. We call them treasure demons. Taking one down can net you all kinds of big rewards. I see. I'll be sure to remember these treasure demons. So if we see one, we should try to defeat it like the one just now? Right. They're quick to run away, though, so you... Try putting the orbs where they need to go. Ooh, it worked! So the proof is in here. Let's have a look inside. one of the fearsome four. That is correct! I am indeed one of the Prince of Nightmares, fearsome four. You may call me Ante. If it's proof you're after, you'll have to defeat me. Still, you would do well to avoid mistaking me for a pushover like Joe. Doma? Who was that again? That jerk we clobbered earlier. The first of these fearsome four creeps. <laughs> I'll let you in on a little secret. Doma was the weakest amongst we of the fearsome four. My power far exceeds his. Your doom is mine. Right. Sorry, we kind of already knew that. Well, looks like we'll just have to fight her. Man, you are really into this. Come, let's begin. Looks like you can jump on me. Fly right, and we'll run circles around the enemy. Take this! That explains those weaknesses! It's over! It's the leader of the thing you see! 
wish you luck on the rest of your journey. Farewell, my God. Ugh, he's doing one of those sentimental plot thread things. Come on, let's get that fruit. This is... Prince of Nightmares. This is Ango Natsume's novel. Again with the book? Why would that be what we need? Do you think maybe it's one of the jail's cores? You mean like back in Shibuya? Yeah, that's gotta be it. They're essentially the monarch's source of power. Looks like keeps and cores are a few things these jails have in common. So if we need two more pieces of proof, then we'll have to find the other two prison keeps. Fox, do you have any hints on that? According to the book, the other towers are somewhere beyond the land of rain. Then we'll have to go back to that rainy area. All right, back to it, everyone. around here on Johanna. Fearsome snore, if you ask me. I am one of the fearsome four, and servant to the Prince of Nightmares, the Great Kuga. I suppose you must possess some skill if you were able to best both Doma and Ate. But you'd be foolish to assume I'd be as easily defeated as them. Did the last one say something similar? Either Natsume didn't vary his characters enough, or he lacked the creativity and started copy-pasting. Man, you are really into this hero thing, huh? <laughs> You've got spirit, I'll give you that. I'm starting to like you. Now then, have that you! This is my other self! Yeah. 
Ready. Is a trophy? It says Sukaisha Awards. <laughs> you do probably got this by cheating too. But look at this date. This was definitely before people's hearts started to change. So he won this on his own? Mm, I don't buy it. You can't win an award just by ripping people off. Regardless, that's two pieces of proof we've obtained. That's just one left. Where haven't we checked yet? There was that door back when we first entered. Maybe we should look there. We did score another piece of proof, so maybe it'll open now. Let's head back. from just a little push. <laughs> but appearances can often be deceiving, can they? Despair, for I am the strongest of the fearsome four. Your journey ends here. Well, if he wants to fight, then I guess we don't have to hold back. Hand over that proof. Stepping it up a bit this time, huh? Yeah. 
allow me. Out of the way! Let's just go! Okay, that's three pieces of proof. Seems this last one is a fountain pen. Fitting for a writer, I suppose. So now we can get into the Overlord's castle, right? If we're following the novel, then yes. We're finally going to storm the castle. <laughs> About damn time. The Phantom Thieves are coming for you, asshole. Hold on. Maybe we should head back for now. If we're going to charge into enemy territory. We should probably make sure we're prepared. Good idea. Ugh, I'm all sorts of tired after that last fight. <laughs> Sorry, Panther. Hmm. Might not be a bad idea to fall back and regroup. What's the plan, Joker? Indeed. And one simply cannot fight on an empty stomach. Lord Masamune would have no doubt said the same. That settles it, then. Let's make our way back. They were felled by a new group of heroes calling themselves the Phantom Thieves. The Phantom Thieves? You mean the ones everyone won't stop talking about? You don't think... <clears throat> I mean, do they truly believe they're going to change my heart? <laughs> they mean to topple the Overlord himself! Fools! They're destined to fail. Just like all who came before them, this world is under my absolute control. No one is going to take it from me, no matter who's brave enough to try. Take a look. Come shop with it. Huh. 
What'll it be? Is that all? Here you are. Thanks again. Is that all? Here you are. Thanks a lot. Sorry to bring up business when we're all tired and stuff. Oh no, you're fine. I think we're all feeling a lot better now that we've eaten. So, what did you find out? Have you learned something about Natsume? Nope, not Natsume. This is about Alice. Alice? I was looking into this even after we changed her heart back in Shibuya, but it looks like some of her fans never reverted back to normal. Uh, how can that be? I thought we released all of the desires she stole. Yeah, we, we saw them all go back to their owners, right? We did, but some people still get set off if you criticize Alice even just a little. There are reports of people getting threatened and even attacked. Seriously messed up. Their obsession with Alice hasn't dissipated? I'm thinking maybe some desires haven't returned to their owners. So it's possible they haven't returned. There's a lot we still don't understand about the jails, so we can't exactly rule that out. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that the Shibuya jail didn't disappear. Mm, that is concerning. Yeah, it'd help if we had a little more to go off. Why not just visit the jail? As much as I'd love to do that, we can't just leave here and go back. There's no need to go back. I meant you should visit the Shibuya jail from here. Huh? What do you mean? Ever since we left the Shibuya jail, I've wondered if we might be able to get back inside. Hoping to find out, I put in the keyword earlier. Sure enough, I was given access to the Shibuya jail. I couldn't do the same with the Sendai jail, however. So it may have something to do with the fact that the jail no longer has its monarch. It works somewhat like a backdoor function, I think. So we can enter even though we're nowhere near the same place in the real world? I certainly couldn't do that with the palaces. Just the idea of a metaverse existing without an owner is a first for us. And I guess our experience with the palaces can only help us so much here. Dude, this is pretty sweet though, ain't it? We can basically warp to Shibuya now, right? No. It's not as if you could leave the jail and appear in the real world, Shibuya. You can only visit the jail from here. Leaving will simply take you back to where you first entered. I suppose things wouldn't be that convenient. This is still better than nothing, though. Thanks for looking into that, Sophia. Yeah, that's super helpful. I've made myself useful. I 
will continue to do my best. All right. How about we check out the Shibuya Jail later on, then? No objections here. As for the Sendai Jail, let's meet up at the hideout once we're ready. We'll leave the timing to you. Retainer is waiting for us inside. It's sure to be a difficult fight. Let's be on our guard. Uh, do you think there's more like the fearsome war in there? Don't worry, Panther. I won't let them hurt you. Man, you're totally sold on this, aren't you? Okay, let's go. Someone stop them!
Get in the cat. Are you rich? All right, let's go. Okay, we've made it inside. Let's keep up the pace. There should be a path forward somewhere. Around. What's that? Keep your eyes peeled. Focus. A What's treasure that? chest to me. Want to open it? here. Uh, my stamina is all gone. back in Shibuya. Does this mean that bastard Natsume's kicking it somewhere inside? I'd like to say we should just bust our way in, but... How does it look, Sophie? It looks like it's still locked. We'll need someone to touch it so we can hear the voices in his heart. Okay, then. You're up, Skull. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like it's gonna hurt, and it doesn't seem right to ask Sophie to do it. Oh, but it's cool if I do it? Come on, Skull. You're, you know, tough. And he's already experienced it once before. If anything, he's the ideal candidate. <sighs> That's my luck, I guess. At least buy me a bowl of ramen or something once we're done, yeah? I could do it if you want. That's cool. I got it. Thank you, Skull. I think someone his age would have at least some talent. <laughs> like it matters. This kid's gonna make us a fortune. Yeah, I'm hearing voices all right. These voices are somehow related to Natsume's emotional scars? Most likely. We just need to listen to the conversation and figure out the source of his trauma from there. So we're looking for something like what Shujin Academy was to Alice. We should keep listening. There's bound to be some sort of clue here. <laughs> Sir, try to keep your voice down. He'll be back any minute. Oh, come off it. Can you really blame me for complaining? I'm the one who has to read his crap every day. Uh, the kid's got motivation, but that's about all he's got. Seems any talent for writing in that family died with his grandfather. Oh, excuse me, can I get another Katori coffee? Yes, sir, just a moment. Well, he's still our little money tree. No way in hell we're letting him go. <laughs> You're terrible, sir. <laughs> what's... what's going on here? Yeah, this shit hurts. 
Thanks to that, however, we've managed to hear a good amount. I didn't really get it, but uh, it sounded like some kind of cafe. Indeed. I heard one of them say Gatore Coffee. Right. Gatore is the name of a cafe chain. But I don't think I saw any around Sendai Station. If there aren't a lot of them, it'll make finding the right one that much easier. Well, at the very least, we've got a lead on finding the trauma room now. Right. Let's get out of here and find us a coffee shop. to the velvet room you wish to browse the it what would you like to this persona has been registered in its awaken your new self awaken your new self Forming a fusion, it seems that it can gain new power. Choose which. It seems that it can gain new power. that it can gain new power. you need. 
We recommend that. Thank you very much. We recommend. Can you hold all that? We recommend. That. Thank you very. So that's what you get. Can you hold? So that's what you get. Thank you very much. So that's what you get. Thank you very much. Stop by again. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Is that what you'd like? Come again. Just add this. Navigator. Uh, being the navigator's my job. Well, where's that coming from? It's simply a question of having the right person for the right job. Fear not, Futaba. There are plenty of things only you can do. Calling a weirdo. All right, guess we'll just head over to the cafe then, yeah? Yeah, let's get going. Okay, I got it. This is it Gatori Coffee. I can smell the coffee. It seems to be just an ordinary cafe. Are we sure we have the right place? We'll just have to put in the keyword and see. All right, let's make it happen. The trauma cell's calling our names. Trauma cell? It's just a name I came up with. Trauma room sounds like some kind of cheesy hospital drama. Call it whatever you want. We gotta roll. The key to opening that birdcage has gotta be here somewhere. Do you remember the keyword? Of course. It's Prince of Nightmares. It's just like what happened in Shibuya. 
This is where Natsume's drama comes from. What could have happened to him, I wonder? Shh. Someone's up ahead. Uh, are you sure about this? Awarding him the grand prize for that? Ongo Natsume. <laughs> the kid's entered every contest, but he's never made it past the first stage. He's as stubborn as he is incompetent. What's more, his writing is so painfully generic, it only becomes more obvious when you compare it to the other candidates. What? That voice... is it Natsume? I can't be... He acknowledged my work. It's fine. He's the great Sogo Natsume's grandson, remember? Brand recognition is a huge part of marketability. Nobody gives a rat's ass about what's beyond the cover. Though a certain someone seems to think he's actually worth a damn. Poor kid can't even see just how hopeless he really is. <laughs> Seriously, it's pathetic. <laughs> oh, I'm trying as hard as I can. No skin off my nose, so long as he keeps raking it in. We hit the jackpot with that one, and I plan on riding him straight to the top. And if he does, by some miracle, make something decent of himself, well then everyone wins, right? <laughs> These guys are the worst. Here it comes. like you was hopeless. Hopeless! Hopeless! This is the same thing we saw in Shibuya. Careful! It's using different weapons from last time. Let's go! Fire! 
Does it? We can get inside the birdcage now, right? Better get going then. Wait, but what was that we just saw? It seems Ango Natsume wasn't given that award on his own merit. Those editors just used him for his name. So, there was a secret behind that novel after all. But he's not a bad guy, is he? It sounded like he entered the competition a whole bunch of times. And just when he thought his hard work was paying off, he had to hear all that. It must have been devastating. Those editors are horrible. And they knew his writing wasn't good enough, but they still gave him the prize just so they could make money. It still doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nevertheless, I'm beginning to understand how he feels. Fox? Rising to fame atop stolen ideas. Pulling at people's emotions with a fabricated story. Even worse, robbing others of their free will, changing their hearts, and wallowing in his own vanity. These crimes are unforgivable. There's no denying that he's been a fool. And yet, in spite of all that, it doesn't change the fact that Natsume spent years giving it everything he had. Creative work is often a lonely endeavor. And battling against that loneliness is truly a challenge in and of itself. As if it wasn't hard enough, if you don't produce results, no one will even think twice about you. One might even begin to think that such dark and unfulfilling times are all that's in store. Had I taken one wrong step, I may very well have turned out to be just as hideous as you. Inari. It's thanks to your friendship that I didn't stray from the path. He, however, doesn't seem to have anyone. Atsume should know better than most that there's no meaning in superficial glory. Now he's turned his back on what he truly wants to write for the sake of spinning this infernal novel of lies. Someone needs to bring him back to his senses. You seem pretty motivated this time around, Inari. As one who's dedicated his life to art, I simply cannot condone his actions. Now, let us bring this to an end. We'll send the calling card, then wrest the Overlord from his throne. left is the calling card. Right. We need to make Natsume aware that we're coming to steal the desires. That should materialize them. We'll need to decide how we want to do it. What's the best way to make sure he gets the message? Huh. He probably remembers our faces, though. I doubt he'd take anything from us. Hmm. What do we do? Mommy! 
could be lost, maybe? I'll go take a look. Hey, what's wrong, kid? Oh, you got separated from your mom. Don't worry, I got you. Is that Zenkichi? What? Ramsu's already here? Hey, it's me. I got a kid who was separated from his mom here. Send someone over to look after him, would ya? I'm over it. Huh? What do you mean it's not worth pup sex time? Quit screwing around. You call yourself an officer of the law? Or are you saying you'd abandon your own kid too, is that it? A lost kid's no joke, you know. <laughs> hey, wait! Where are you going? It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you or anything! Uh... The kid totally thinks he's a creep. That kid sure made things difficult. He didn't have to run away like that, right? Right? You're not exactly cute and cuddly, Gramps. Honestly, I don't blame him. Will you stop calling me Gramps? This is perfect timing, though, actually. Let's ask Zenkiji what he thinks. <sighs> sure. We're supposed to be working together anyway. We're all set to go inside Natsume's jail. There's just one thing left to do. Only problem is, we're not sure how to send our calling card. Calling card? Oh, you mean that thing you guys did with the screens in Shibuya? If you want my advice, you should avoid any high-profile stuff like that. The police aren't that stupid. Eventually you'll get caught. I know I'm supposed to help you and all, but I gotta draw the line at breaking the law. Hmm, so the adult's the voice of reason here. You really are a Gramps, you know that? <sighs> You're pretty set on calling me that, aren't you? <sighs> Whatever. My point is, go with something simpler. We need a way to guarantee that Natsume will read the calling card. Maybe if we knew where he was going to be, we could set something up before he arrived. In that case, I found just the event. Natsume is holding another book signing at the bookstore near the station. Natsume will most certainly be there. It starts as soon as the store opens at 10 a.m. Oh, that sounds doable. I bet it'd be easy to set up if we roll in at night. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? Breaking and entering's a crime, you know? Well, that's where you come in, Gramps. Huh? Yeah. If we needed it and got caught, they'd lock us up. They'd lock me up, too! You saying you can't do it? <sighs> Some help the police turned out to be. Wasn't the deal that you'd cooperate with us? I thought adults kept their word. Uh, you kids. All right, it's settled. I will go and prepare the calling card. Yeah, you got this, Yusuke. That goes for you too, Zenkichi. We'll leave the planning to you. Am I seriously going to go through with this? Mr. Natsume. Good morning. I see. There's quite a crowd today as well. Uh, yes. About that. What is it? What? What is this? Well, when the staff came to open the store this morning, it was already like this. They called the police, but they were told to leave it as is, to preserve the crime scene. To the ostentatious swindler, Mr. Ango Natsume, you are a depraved miscreant who holds others in contempt and steals their work, lining your own pockets all the while. We refuse to overlook the crimes you commit as you wear a false crown. Tonight, we take back the desires you've stolen. <laughs> Honestly, how stupid can you get? Damn it, what nonsense! I am the monarch. My followers are loyal. That is, as long as I hold their desires. No. Having those desires is proof of my claim to power. Proof of my sovereignty. I won't hand them over. I won't give them up! You foolish heroes are nothing but talk. Come then, I'll crush every last one of you! Alright, his cognition should be changed now. 
Thank you for all your help, Mr. Detective. And with that, I've officially become an accomplice of the Phantom Thieves. What are you complaining about? You're the one who proposed working with us, remember? As a reward, I'll try to start calling you Zenkichi instead of Gramps from now on, okay? Inspector Hasegawa is quite a mouthful. Yeah, Zenkichi's good, don't you think? Okay then, from now on you're Zenkichi-san, all right? I'm looking forward to working together, Zenkichi. Oh, fine, whatever. You've already dragged me along this far today. Now then, the desire should have materialized at this point. It's up to us to take them back and return them to their rightful owners. And in doing so, we'll set his distorted heart straight. those stolen desires. Yeah, Natsumi won't know what hit him. Okay, let's get going. Should we take a look? Overlord from Prince of Nightmares. He certainly gives off that impression, but weren't the fearsome four just dressed like normal people? Yeah, thinking about it, those guys didn't get much love from the author, did they? <laughs> you come all this way only to fall right into my trap. This world belongs to me and me alone. It takes shape solely according to my design. Here, the Overlord rains justice upon the holier-than-thou heroes who would dare brand them as evil. Here, you are nothing more than flies to be swapped. I'll enjoy hearing those filthy screams as you atone for your transgressions. That's bold for someone who stole others' desires just to satisfy their own selfish wants. Yeah, if you're really the Overlord, ain't this the part where you get your ass kicked? <laughs> Tell me. How many of my demon brethren have you slaughtered while spouting such despicable hypocrisies? Wow, this guy's reading right from the handbook, isn't he? Enough of this. It's time we fought, no matter how brave a facade you put on. It's clear you're just afraid of losing that hollow throne you're so proud of. What was that? Your reign is not but an illusion. Allow us to show you the truth.
I will feast upon your bones! Holy crap! A dragon! Be careful, guys! This one's really tough! Persona. He's writing something! Is he building up energy? Crap! <laughs> you gotta stop that pen of his! <laughs>
too. Oh. Way to follow up, huh? That was well played. <laughs> Identity was just a cheap imitation. It's over, Ango Natsume. You're just a bunch of stupid kids! You don't know how much I've suffered! It's not too late for me! I've still got my reputation as a writer! I've won an award! I've sold books! It's not too late! It's never too late! And that's good enough for you? <laughs> this fame you've acquired through deception and the brainwashing of others. Is that truly what you wanted? What was the real reason you started writing novels? I... I mean, I... Damn it! Damn it! I tried. I really tried. Just like everyone else, I read and read all through the night. For hours on end, like my life depended on it. And for what? Was ever mine. It was just another work from Sogo Natsume's grandson. No one. No one ever acknowledged my effort. My effort? Not my work? Not even me! No matter where I look, 
All I see is a bunch of thoughtless idiots. Slaves to appearances and nothing more. Acknowledge me, damn it. Acknowledge Ago Natsume's efforts for once. I just want someone to see that I really tried. I do. Huh? It's very clear just how much work you've put into writing your novels. A life led by creativity is almost always a lonely one. No matter your profession. You were battling that loneliness. You braced yourself. Pouring your very soul into your writing. Bringing it to your publisher time and time again. I will gladly acknowledge such effort and determination. <laughs> there are many out there who would give up that battle. Even those of exceptional skill and creativity, to be able to continuously bring life to new works without giving up, however. That is perhaps the most exceptional talent of all. There was once a time when you kept fighting. That is one part of your career that could never be labeled a fabrication. So start over, Ango Natsume. Claw your way back up from nothing and move forward, after all. There are some things that simply cannot be painted without a blank canvas. <laughs> it is because everyone believed in me that I was able to choose the path I walk today. I stopped lying to myself and was able to begin anew. So it is now my turn to pay it forward. Even if I'm the only one in the world to do so, I will believe in you. <sighs> Stupid kid. Talking my damn ear off, but you're right. This identity of mine was built on nothing but lies. I don't need it anymore. I'll do it. I'll climb my way back up. And I'll do it on my own strength. I'll write a novel that'll capture the hearts of countless readers. Just like my grandfather before me. I'll write something I can be proud of. To everyone, I swear it! Good. And I'll be looking forward to the day I get to read it. <laughs> you know, I really am stupid. How did I let myself forget? I know now what it is I really wanted. Collapsing. Come on, we're leaving. Oh, looks like it's over for now. Mission complete. I wonder if everyone's desires have been returned yet. Probably. They all went flying out of the cage, after all. Maybe we should check on the people back in town, just to be safe. Good idea. That said, the jail didn't disappear this time, either. Now I'm sure of it. Jails really aren't the same as palaces. Well, we can worry about it later. Indeed. Let's go. I'm restless right now. Do you know what this is? I'm not sure what's wrong. Natsumi tried his hardest, but somewhere along the way, he lost sight of what mattered to him. He is a strange person, Natsume. Yes, he did say he would climb back up. Yusuke said Natsume lost his way because he was alone. Whenever I think about that, I feel restless inside. Even though Natsume hurt a lot of people and was, for some time, one of our enemies. What is this feeling? The same as Yusuke? I see. So that's why Yusuke saved Natsume. It was because Natsume's reason for doing all those terrible things was really sad. I think I understand now. Sadness can hurt people, but it can also save them. It can give humans a reason to support one another. 
you can count on me. <laughs> okay, we should probably get going. So, you know how I was all excited for the Tanabata festival that's coming up? My boyfriend says he's already got plans. Oh, by the way, did you ever finish reading that manga I lent you? I got someone else who wants to borrow it. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it worked. Yeah. Doesn't look like anyone's talking about Natsume anymore. Then, all's as it should be. Obtaining fame through some deceptive power doesn't fit his image. This wouldn't have been possible without you being there to open his eyes, Yusuke. You really took charge today, Inari. Yep, it was all thanks to the divine grace of the oh-so-benevolent Inari. Praise be to him. Thank you. not finished just yet. We must confirm whether the change of heart was a success. For now, we'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. <sighs> well, since we've got some free time, can we unwind at a bathhouse or something? Oh, I'm totally neat. Good idea. We can freshen up a little before we head back to the car. You heard him, Sophia. It's all you. Okay, I'll find the best bathhouse in the area. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I've called this press conference to give an announcement, as well as a formal apology. First, my novel, Prince of Nightmares, was recently bestowed the honor of receiving first place in the Sokaisha Awards. I have decided to give the award back. I've also decided to recall all published copies not to mention, take the necessary steps to refund everyone's money. I'm sure you all want to know my reasons for doing so. The truth is, my book, Prince of Nightmares, only won because of my status as Sogo Natsume's grandson. In short, the competition was fixed. In addition, I've also stolen the work of countless other authors, word for word. Lastly, the story I told about writing to inspire a hospitalized girl was nothing but a lie to garner sympathy. This fabrication allowed my book to sell a number of copies it nowhere near deserved. I wish to apologize for this scandal, and I'll start by personally seeing to it that everyone who bought my book is refunded. I promise my writing career ends here. I am deeply sorry for all that I've done to all of you. Uh, hold on, Mr. Natsume. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Hey, time to wrap it up. Get everyone out of here, now. Peace, don't interfere. This is my way of taking responsibility. Hey, something doesn't seem right here. Mr. Natsume's the one who put this thing together, right? Do you think the editors were just trying to profit off Mr. Natsume's family name? Uh. this you you were the one from the party i'm so sorry for what i said back then i will not allow you to cower and run away ango natsume you intend to make a comeback do you not huh? when you do return to the literary world i want to see a book with your name on it not your grandfather's <gasps> You are going to write a novel that you can be proud of, are you not? Thank you. Thank you so very much. Where are they supposed to be? Once everything is rightfully resolved, I will make my return. Even if there's just one person out there waiting to read my stories, no matter what, I will keep writing. I only hope that I can one day save someone's soul way my grandfather's novel saved mine when I was young. That is why I write. 
Sheesh, you kids are something else. Barging in on a press conference like that? My apologies. It was imperative that I speak with him. Eh, it's fine. Alright, well, I gotta run. I have to go question Natsume. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't end with just an apology. Senkichi's really doing his job. It's almost like he's an actual cop or something. I am an actual cop. Anyway, it won't take long. So go on and wait for me back at the car. Guess we should get rolling then. Right. We'll leave the rest to him. Do you have a moment? Something about Natsume's been bothering me. What he did was no doubt unforgivable. Nothing will change that. However, was he really like Matarame? Can he truly be called evil like the palace rulers we've confronted in the past? Had he simply ignored his editors, would he have strayed from his path? Or am I perhaps just sympathizing with someone who pursues the arts like myself? What do you think? So you think so as well? Then what is the purpose of these jails? Oh well, I suppose there's no point in thinking on it right this second. Forgive me, I didn't mean to hold you up. We should return to the car as well. So. Yeah. Leave it to me. And that about sums up Natsume's confession. So once people friended him through Emma, they'd become his fans. It's just like what Alice said. And Natsume's smartphone worked the same as Alice's, too. There wasn't anything off about the Emma app or the phone itself. So we got nothing again? I didn't say that. Just like before, there were traces of someone snooping around in there. For real? We're talking about how Alice's smartphone was being monitored by someone, right? So the same occurred with Natsume's phone as well. Well, any idea who it is? Sorry, I got nothing. All I found were traces. So Alice and Natsume were being watched by someone. Hey, Zenkichi, did the police know about that? <sighs> no. The only reason we know this guy exists is because Sakura sifted through Alice's smartphone. So aside from the fact that they both used Emma, this mystery observer is the only thing linking Alice and Natsume together. If the police didn't know that, why would they assume these two cases are related? Well, these are some very peculiar cases. But mainly, it boils down to the nature of the crimes and the timing. The timing? All of the change of heart incidents occurred at roughly the same time, that being within the last three months. Didn't I tell you? Three months ago is around when Emma was released. Well, Emma is being used to perpetrate the crimes, so that makes sense. Maybe. This seems like it'd be pretty difficult for a third party to pull off. That company putting that thing out is suspicious as all hell. What are they called again? Madams? Madis. Well, at least you got the mad part. For what it's worth, I'm investigating on that front as well. Still, we're talking about a major corporation operating on a global scale. You can't just walk in and start poking around without reason. 
You haven't found anything suspicious yet? <sighs> Not yet, no. At least, nothing's come up from checking the individuals involved. If our mystery observer was connected to Medis, though, then we'd have grounds to conduct an investigation. Hmm. Do you think there's someone pulling the strings in this case? We don't know for sure yet. The incidents are similar, but they could just as easily be unrelated. <sighs> Guess we'll have to see if the other incidents have any overlap as well. That's one of the basic rules of investigation. Find what the incidents do and don't have in common, then start narrowing things down. For now, looking into the other incidents is our best bet at scoring a lead. This is true. We'll have to do what we can for the time being. And if we look into the other jails and their monarchs, we might learn something new. Then, if we're all done here, I'm heading to Sapporo to see what I can find at our next target. We'll rendezvous on the 8th. I'll contact you the day of. Three days. Should be an easy trip with a car. No need to rush. The target's not even in Japan until then. Oh, right. Wasn't there a festival happening around here soon? Sendai's famous for its Tanabata festivals. Lots of good food lined up, too. Or so I hear. Yes, I did see decorations being put up here and there. Anyway, I'll see you in three days. Don't forget. I guess he wants us to rest up while we can. Gramps is actually a pretty considerate guy, huh? Well, since we're here, should we put on Yukata and go to the festival? <laughs> Yukata. Uh, I can't help but think of our disastrous fireworks festival last year when we got rained on. That's why we're gonna do it right this time. Besides, we didn't have Futaba or Haru with us back then. Count me in. Going to a festival in Yukata sounds wonderful. Then we got a plan. Sophia, find us a shop that sells Yukata. I've got four hits. Allow me to direct you. As one might expect from Sendai's Tanabata Festival. It's quite lively here. Apparently, the locals call it Tanabata-san, and it's said to have originated from back in Date Masamune's time. Hey, that's the dude from the statue, huh? He is not a dude. He is Lord Date Masamune, the one-eyed dragon of ocean. Jeez, what are you, his retainer or something? Oh, there are so many booths. It's hard to pick what to see first. What do you think? Want to make a competition out of it? I'm a pretty good shot, you know. You seem more like the brute force type, Yuji. I think you should stick to melee weapons. I don't think we're on the same page here. Speaking of which, ain't those guys here yet? It takes time for a lady to get ready. They're not unrefined apes like the rest of you. Who are you calling an ape? You're the unrefined one, you furball. Well, this furball's got claws, you bonehead! Sorry for the wait. Lady On, you look absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, Morgana. Sorry, tying the obi took quite some time. Stop staring so much. It's embarrassing. Absolutely picturesque. You've brought us a much-needed air of refinement. Yeah, according to someone, we're about as unrefined as it gets. Wow, Ryuji, that looks really good on you. Even better than your school uniform. You don't gotta try and make me feel better. You made a good choice with that mask, though. Yellow's a good match for this season. I bought a water balloon myself. You gotta get one when you go to a festival. Water balloon? Oh, you mean a yo-yo. No, isn't that called a water yo-yo? Uh, wait a sec. I thought it was yo-yo balloon. No, it's a water balloon. What do you call it? Yeah, I knew it! I mean, it's only a little bit, but there's still some water inside. <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a good time. We should have a little fun ourselves. Why don't we check out the food stands and get something to eat? Uh, sure! I was starting to get hungry since everything smells so good. Look, they've got all the staples! Yakisoba, yakitori, shaved ice, they've even got cognac skewers! Those are huge in Toho food. What are we waiting for? Charge! Come on, we should get going too. I'm starving. Hell yeah! 
Let's start from one end and get one of everything. It feels as if we're forgetting the spirit of Tanabata. Though I have no objections. I want to see more of the festival too. Show me how to catch goldfish. Cognac skewers, Ishinomaki yakisoba, Zunda cider. We basically ate our way through Sendai. And it was amazing. Gotta hand it to old man Masamune. He is one cool dude. That's lord to you. Did I do it right, Yusuke? Am I that predictable? Catching goldfish seems difficult. Is there some sort of secret to catching one? Try to stay calm, then strike without hesitation. Trick is to catch them once you've read their movements. Wow, that's impressive, Mako-chan. I see. We'll get it next time. You're getting a call from Zenkichi. Yo, you guys having fun? Just working? Not really, anyway. Listen, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. I'm already investigating in Sapporo, but before you leave Sendai, I'd like you to stop by Toho University. Tomorrow, there's going to be a session at the Mount Aoba campus. The CEO of Madis is holding a lecture there. I'm still looking into them at the moment, but the more info we have, the better. I'd like you to attend the lecture in my place. I'm glad you get it. And just so we're clear, don't draw any unnecessary attention to yourselves. Just go and see if the CEO says anything strange. His name is Akira Konoe, and he looks like a capable CEO. I'll give him that. Anyway, I'm gonna be counting on you kids. And again, try not to get carried away, alright? So what did he want? Let me get this straight. This guy's running the company that made Emma? This might be a good opportunity to learn something new. Hmm. I suppose we'll find out at the lecture tomorrow morning. Guess break time's over. Time to get back to work. As you all know, life is just an ongoing series of daily decisions. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. Madis seeks to provide it for everyone through the power of AI. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives. By gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision, Emma can help everyone make the best choices. Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. Wow, he's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. Well, thanks to Emma, Medisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It is through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Medisa is connected to all of this one way or another, be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Like, some kind of mastermind? I think so too. Even there's gotta be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimonies. And if that's the case, then the Monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. Which means it could be someone at Medis. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. 
Or perhaps someone completely different. Yeah, well, we just gotta stick to what Gramps was telling us, right? All we can do is keep solving cases and collect more info. As long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. I'm surprised. He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. <laughs> Yo, how long was I out? So, what did the dude say? Ugh, can I smack you? Well, he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. Then again, I wouldn't expect him to trip up that easily. Well, I'm starving, so maybe we should just head back? That guy was talking for friggin' ever. Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? Huh? Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? What? You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. Mona! But me? But you guys are the ones she overheard. The hell are we gonna do? Oh, stop, stop. It's all right. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. Wow, to think you guys are the famous Phantom Thieves. Come on now, don't try to hide it. When you guys mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you were referring to Alice Hiragi and Ango Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Is it safe to assume those were your doing? Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? She... she heard everything. Um, can we ask what you're doing here, Ichinose-san? Oh, I told you at the Beef Tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh, that's right. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. You made the base? I didn't tell you. I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Around the time I finished developing Emma, Medis came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? Oh, by the way, that's why Medis is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. Anyhow, yeah, that's how I ended up being there to overhear everything. So you're Emma's creator, and Medis is simply the ones running it? Oh, well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's all they've been doing. They just designed the base. Who knows what Medis did once I sold it to them? So, you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. Well, never would have expected this turn of events. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medis came to personally give a lecture. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. And let's not forget the university asked her to attend the lecture. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. What do you think? No way! It's a little late for that, don't you think? Yeah, it'd be a real drag if we ditched her now and she started telling the whole world about us. Then, we may as well go all in and find out what we can. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's settled then. We'll tell her everything. Is all of that true? Right, we know. It's kind of hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her, like we did with Senkichi? 
Wow! It really does exist! I mean, how else could you explain all this? So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? No, that's... I consider the possibilities. Uh, she believed all that? Oh, you have no idea how fascinating this is! What an incredible development! <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Ichinose-san, do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? Oh, no, couldn't tell you. I'm surprised this other world even exists. There's no way I could have thought up a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means... that function was added later? A world where people's desires are stolen and their hearts are changed. Hmm, so many questions! Oh, wait, maybe I should be heartbroken here. My baby is being used for evil after all. Right. How about we make a deal? Ooh, I like the sound of that. Super Phantom Thiefy! I'd be glad to help however I can. And I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. More than anything, though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. So, what do you need me to look into? Say the word, and I'm on it! Indeed. You'd be very interested to know exactly what kind of changes Emma went through thereafter. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey! We found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Maybe if she takes a look at them, we'll learn more about that world. Ooh, so you're gonna give me a bunch of neat stuff to analyze? Yes, that's excellent. Just wonderful. In fact, I'll even buy them from you, as research materials. Hmm. Well, if this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide something as well. Hmm. Nonsense. It's fine, just the way it is. My inner researcher is just squealing with delight. So, what do you say we seal the deal? Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, yo, if she specializes in AI, maybe we should ask about Sophia, yeah? Huh? Sophia. Hi, I'm Sophia. Humanity's companion. It's nice to meet you, Ichinose. This is... Sophia? Huh. It's nice to meet you, too. Who flipped the switch on her? Oh, no, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Sophia's an AI we met in the Metaverse. Is there anything you can tell us about her? No, I can't say I know anything about her. Think you could send me her code later, though? Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. Here, I'll give you my contact information. Well then, I'm excited to see how this all develops. See you around! Uh, well, there she goes. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. I'm okay, as long as I can stay useful to you guys. Guess that takes care of that. Oh yeah, I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but we're heading to Sapporo next, right? Yeah, we should get going. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah! Hokkaido, here we come! You never see it coming!